Okay, Monday, May 2nd. I'm Tom Novak with Novak Weather, and as promised, we're going to start throwing out a lot of videos at you here now, starting here in May, and hopefully uh, for many, many years to come as uh, we ramp up our video uh, production for you guys. All right, hey, here it is. Uh, we're going to throw a lot at you today, and one thing I wanted to show you is look at the accumulated snowfall now for the snow season, and I think we're done with the snow season um, now as we head into May, but look at all the snow that fell over northern Minnesota. This is the percentage of normal, and many areas in the northern half of the state were above 100% of snowfall. Meanwhile, if you're in the Twin Cities, but even more importantly, further south in Rochester, Mankato, Albert Lee areas, on into western Wisconsin, Eau Claire, your areas have been below normal as far as snowfall was concerned this past snow season, which is not a surprise, I think, to many of you in southern Minnesota. Now, ever, a lot of people have been complaining about the cloudy weather and the cold weather. And this just is a great uh, graph and chart here from the National Weather Service in the Twin Cities. And uh, this is the um, amount of sunshine or solar radiation that uh, maximum that can occur as you go through time through the year. And of course, in January, you get low amounts of uh, solar radiation. But as we get into the summer months, there should be quite a bit of it. And look at what has happened here, especially in April and now going into early May. Look at these green lines. They don't reach very high and very often during the month of April. That means it's been cloudy. We've had a lot of cloudy days where very little in the way of solar radiation has hit the ground. Hence the reason why it has also been quite cold out with temperatures uh, in general. In fact, I think looking back at the Twin Cities Airport, we were about six degrees below the average for the month of April. And it has been wet. The, this is in the last two months now since March 1st. Look at all of the rain and snow that has fallen over the upper Midwest and Northern Plains. Some areas have received over three to 400 percent of the average precipitation over the last two months. We need to dry out up here in North Dakota, northern and eastern Minnesota, but it looks like we're not going to. And I'm going to show you that here in just a little bit. Uh, cloudy skies. This we call this stratocumulus clouds continue to sink ever so slowly southward behind a departing low pressure system that has affected us for the last three to four days. This is a cold environment, but that's also going to change. And I'll show you that here in just a little bit. Here's your River of Air, 30 to 35,000 feet. We call it the jet stream. And here's our departing storm right here that's starting to move off to the northeast. Another disturbance is going to slide east, but this likely is going to go just south of Minnesota with maybe only extreme southern Minnesota getting affected by that system. And then here comes the big change. Another storm system slides south, well south of the upper Midwest as we get into later this week and weekend. And then look at the jet stream weather pattern as we head into this late this weekend and next week. A massive large trough develops out west and a ridge builds over the eastern half of the country, and that's going to include Minnesota and Wisconsin. This is a really warm weather pattern. Imagine that. I don't think I've, I can't recall saying this over the last month or two, but this, we're talking about temperatures this time of the year as we get into May, as we get Gulf of Mexico and desert southwest air to move north into the region, we're talking about temperatures that are likely going to reach into the 80s now as we head into the uh, especially the second week of May. Here are the temperatures in the lower layers of our atmosphere at about 5,000 feet. And you can clearly see that, yeah, we're still a little cool as we head into later this week and weekend with temperatures near or still a below normal. But once we head into next week, look at all this warm air that starts to surge north out of the Gulf of Mexico and from the desert southwest. This, again, is a really warm weather pattern for this time of the year. So yeah, the, the days of being well below normal for temperatures are gonna be gone here as we head into April. Speaking of temperatures, here are temperatures as we go into tonight. Another cold, cold night for early May standards. I'm thinking we're gonna drop into the upper 30s for many of us. Then highs tomorrow, if we can get some sunshine, this is gonna be highly dependent on sunshine, but if we can get some, 
we're gonna our temperature our mercury is going to uh, rise well into the 50s I think and if we get enough sunshine we should be well into the 50s tomorrow that's what I'm hoping for I'm gonna be optimistic I'm gonna shoot for some sunshine with temperatures well into the 50s tomorrow and then look at this the mercury goes nowhere but up as we head into the weekend and then next week I want to thank American Waterworks for sponsoring this uh, video. My sponsors are very important. So thank you, American Waterworks, for stepping uh, up and sponsoring this first video of May. All right, everyone, take care. Have a great day. We will talk to you again on Thursday.